This is a story about survival. Two years ago, Lioness Kandaka and Lion Mansour's lives teetered on the edge of death. Then, Four Paws's Dr. Amir Khalil and his team of veterinarians achieved the seemingly impossible. They reversed the two big cats' death sentences and, together with local NGO Sudan Animal Rescue, aided them in their recoveries. But after a severe degradation in health, the lions required urgent specialized care for their continued well-being. Twice, Four Paws returned to Khartoum in an attempt to transport them out of Sudan to Al Mawa, a sanctuary in Jordan. Twice, Four Paws' plans were hindered and the Sudanese lions had to remain in Khartoum. Yet this is a story about survival, about hardship and willpower, about ever-enduring hope. November 2022. Dr. Amir and his team return to Sudan one last time. They know this may be their final chance at bringing the lions to their havens in Jordan. The flights to Amman are booked. The crates for the lions built, but the stage is far from set. Transporting the lions without sedation requires they enter their crates willingly, and so the crates must be placed perfectly. Animal welfare officer Velizar Angelov works closely with Sudan Animal Rescue to ready the area and shield it from the heat. Here is hot and the roof is getting hotter. And inside is like an oven. So we need shade for them. But the clock is ticking. Tomorrow is D-Day, and the lions must be physically and mentally prepared for the journey ahead. Tomorrow is the most important day. I know that um, we are all well prepared. From medical point of view, I have no worries. Mansour, he accepted this new setting, so he's already entering the crate without any kind of uh, worries or problems. Kandaka is a little bit more cautious. She is fit to travel, and I'm sure that uh, our team will succeed to win her trust and we'll be able to put her into the crate tomorrow. The day of the rescue. Belizar Angelov watches as Santino, the local animal caretaker, tries to lure Mansur into his crate. It's a quick job. But there's no time to waste. Kendaka is up next. FN, FN, FN. Success. With both lions secured and cared for, they are ready for transport. However, there is one final stop before the airport. The Wildlife Authority wishes to see the lions before their exit from the country. As a crowd gathers before the ministry building, Amir and his team open up Kandaka's crate door for inspection. Everything appears in the green. Now, Mansour. Belizar lifts the door. Mansour has torn the inner fence apart, leaving a gaping hole in its place. The door is swiftly shut, and a plan immediately formed. The inner door must be replaced before takeoff later that night. With the check completed, the team can make its way to the airport. Several hours later, the team is hard at work replacing Mansour's inner fence. A new, fortified inner door has been constructed in no time. All that's left is to switch the old for the new. 
a laborsome task for the team and disorienting for the lion. While the others are working on the crate, I'm busy with following his movements inside. The door is switched and the team can breathe. We need to cut the pieces from the mesh. We cut it, we change it, now he's with new door and everything is fine. At the airport gate, a delay in the flight causes unrest in the team. The airport staff is having trouble with the crates and requires help on site. I asked them because of the passenger. They will go to make boarding, and then when we arrive to the aeroplane, we, we go, go to down. The, down to the car. Okay. This late in the game, there is no place for surrender. Jordan, 4 a.m. The team has arrived at Al Mawa. And so have the lions. Working closely with airport staff, the team ensured safe voyage for the animals. Now it is time for the lions to enter their night enclosures in their new home. Mansur's crate is placed for him to enter the enclosure. The door lifted. But then, nothing. He doesn't move. His tail limp. On the other end, the team looks inside. Exhausted, Mansoor requires a helping hand. No signs of injury. Relieved, the team moves on to Kandaka. are healthy, though shaken. As dawn approaches, so does the final step in Kandaka and Mansoor's journey. Release into their outdoor enclosure. Mere hours later, Kandaka is about to enter her new forever home. After such a long journey, she needs some time until she is ready. Mansoor.
lions bathe in the Jordanian sun and relish the grass beneath their paws. For Dr. Amir Khalil, it is the sight of a lifetime. It is a touching moment all the time. I mean, just seeing the animal released, seeing how they exp- try to discover their new place, how they smell it, how they touch it. It's wonderful. We are very glad to be here in Elmao and Jordan. It was a very long trip, and I think it is the time come now. They come to a place they deserve and to have the proper treatment they need. I want to say to the donors, really, thank you. Without this support, without this trust, we will never be able to do this. It's very touching to see them, you know, exploring new surroundings, a new place. We're happy that after this long journey, they're finally feeling some rest and uh, some peace. And for the Wildlife Authority of Sudan, the mission's success symbolizes the power of human cooperation. It's wonderful, wonderful to see them looking so calm, you know, and, 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 uh, and happy and uh, hopefully living a, a, as normal a life as possible for animals in captivity. So, you know, every little bit of good you do is hopefully can spread out and, and uh, make the world a better place. At times, it seemed a Sisyphean task. At times, even less than that. But a glimmer of hope always remained for Kendaka and Mansur, one that was kept aflame by Four Paws' undying will to gift them the lives they deserved all along. And now, it is with a deep gratefulness to our supporters that we can say that this task has been accomplished. This remains, after all, a story of survival, willpower, and hope. Thank you.